Hey everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Crusader Kings 2. And we are in a, actually quite an excellent position. Now, my last play session was the past two episodes for you. So when I say last time on Crusader Kings, I'm talking about both episodes. So last time on Crusader Kings 2, um, my decent ruler, actually quite a good ruler, ended up dying paving the path for the prodigal son to take over. And I say prodigal son because he was a genius and he had phenomenal traits, but his education hadn't finished, his uh, region had to take place while he was growing up, and more importantly, I was nervous that someone was going to take advantage of the situation, kill him, and I was going to be left with somebody else in a fracturing Norway. Now, luckily, that wasn't the case, and because my son was quite a good leader before he even turned the age of 16, I was able to make sure people were happy, hand out award titles, and just pure dipl diplomatically handle rough situations. We have a couple of things. We have a couple of dangerous factions. He wants to be independent. This guy, Finmark? That ain't happening, big guy. Sorry. Uh, you can say all you want, um, but you have, what, the strength of 32%? Not bad. I mean, that's not going to really do anything else. And uh, vassal levies are raised too long. I have armies up? No, I don't. All right. So one thing I want to do is have a standing army. The problem is I don't know how to do that. Oh, wait. Can I do it right here? So I can get pikemen. All right. I think this is a standing army right here. Now, why can't I buy this one if I wanted it? I can buy this one, which is archers and heavy infantry. I can buy this one, but I can't buy the other two. I want to know why that is. It only costs 96. You cannot create this retinue. Maximum retinue cap has been reached. Retinues are set to reinforce at maximum speed. Retinues are set to reinforce at half speed. But I don't have any retinues right now. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't have any. So why is it saying that it's been reached? This is something I need to figure out at some point. You guys are going to have to give me reasons as to why it, why that is the case. Um, but until then, now I do have an opportunity here to, to pretty much march into Sweden and take what I want. Um, but before that, I kind of want to reunite a bit more of this area. I want to take Ostergotland and potentially partially over here. But that would require... Declaring war with Denmark and Sweden has this area over here, which I could probably fight for pretty simply uh, King Sigurd of Denmark will be the person I have to fight and I want Can I demand a, a certain area? I don't think I can All right, so that's not a big deal uh, He is not that big of a problem either. He's martial ability is garbage. So I could probably end up killing him uh, pretty easily. So what I'm going to try and do is take this area here. Uh, I do have enough army to raise, right? Yeah, I could probably take him out pretty simply. Uh, I can't offer vacillation. I can't even declare war on the man. And the king... Who? Wait, who's this guy? Oh, they... Wow, he has a piece of land over here? Way over here? Um, Alright, bizarre. Come here. Declaring war, subjugation. Pagans are allowed to subjugate other pagan rulers once in their lifetime. So I could subjugate him, or I could subjugate Sweden. I just want this area right here. So I don't want to burn my subjugation thing yet. So what I'm going to do is have my chancellor fabricating claims, and I'm going to try and take that from him. Wow, everybody loves me right now. My diplomacy must be ridiculous. Oh my god, it is. All right, so that's a big, that's, that's fine. I'm happy about that. We're going to try and let time pass. I have a child. I have a, do I have any children at all? I don't have any children. I'd like to have a child soon. Um, hopefully it'll be good. Now, my wife is content, but she's a militant person, which is was one of my weaknesses, which is why I have it. And I do have uh, a decent marshal who is my heir, who is my half, or who is my brother, rather. Um, though that will change once I have a son. We're going to have him training troops, of course, uh, in my capital city. And do we have any prisoners? We have a bunch. We could hold a blot. How old am I? I'm 23. My father was a great man. I should have a, a runestone commission, but I'm not going to. Not till later on in life. I, well, I'm diligent. I'm diligent and a genius, and I'm brave. Oh God, this character is amazing. Unfortunately, my wife not so much. 
And that's going to be a problem. Now, I could always keep an eye out for a wife. Uh, let's take a look and search. Um, we could just search for people. Somehow. Find characters. Gender. Women. In prison. No. Married. No. Ruler. Doesn't matter. My religion. Yes. My culture. Yes. Let's take a look. Do we have any geniuses in the pool? What is this? Aggressive leader. Wow. Queen mother of Norway. Is this my mother? Wow. My mother is a wonderful woman. Not going to marry her, though. Uh, if we have any geniuses, that would be awesome. If not, my... Oop, we do. She's 42. That's right. That's right. We did have a genius that we could marry. Whoa, whoa. F a four-year-old genius? Hmm... You know, let's take her and make her a person of interest. Now, what I plan on doing with her is potentially taking her as my concubine at some point. Ingrid, Ingrid, we're going to keep an eye on you, lady. You have a, you're a genius, so I want to make sure that that stays. Now, it looks like Sweden has finally formed peace. Mankind is unlovable. I lose the charitable trait. What, what caused that? What? Why did I lose charitable? What happened? What did you do? Who did something? Damn it. Alright, let's speed up time to times three. During this time of peace, we do have to go to war at some point. We could... Oh, yep, Sweden's going to war again. Estonia? Estonia is doing something. Taking land. What we could do, actually, is go to war. We could go loot. We could go... We could uh, do that. So let's go uh, raid while while we kind of have time pass. So let's uh, bring all the armies here. Uh, has arrived in your court. Who's this guy? Oh, you're not that all. Oh, you're a master theologian. You might be really good. Seeing that our seer is, is actually comparatively worse than you. Welcome, seer. Welcome. Improve religious relations. We need to we need to convert this area. New important decisions are available. Uh, hold a great blot. Oh, that's right. It gives me it gives me the ability to go on uh, to do great blot. We want to improve our piety, so we're gonna do that. We'll we'll do that before we go raiding. Let's do that right now. Let's go on a great. Let's just have a great blot before we go raiding. I think that's a great idea. Raise our fleets. Pretty much everybody. Everybody to the capital. There we go. Uh, do we have any boats over here? We can embark you pretty simply. You, I can dismiss you. I'm not going to worry about you. Yep, get rid of you. Alright, let's move you over here. Oh, everybody over here. Everybody over here. Alright, unpause the game. Alright, good. We're going we're gonna to have a great plot before we go raiding for uh, good luck, so to speak. Human sacrifice time. Everybody's here. Very exciting. Ricklefur, who is this? My vassal, Ricklefur, poor Ricklefur, is brought up for your dungeons and escort of the temple. Even as the noose is placed around his neck, he stares vacantly ahead without betraying emotion whatsoever. He has accepted his faith, his fate. All father, accept the sacrifice. Uh, Ricklefur offered up, blah, blah, a lot of things have changed. Vigdis is brought up for your dungeons and escorted to the, even as the noose is placed around her neck, she accepts her fate as well. Oh, Father, we offer you this sacrifice. Excellent. Uh, who's this? We got another woman here. She's ambitious. She's patient. Not really worth taking. Uh, oh, Father, your men... Oh, she tried to run away. Nearest guard makes DSS run for but no avail. Men drag her kicking and screaming back. Sacrifice her. Done. Uh, Mayor Holmgar is brought up for you judges and escorted to the temple. A new place around his neck. He is thrown over a sturdy branch, uh, and the, th the rope is thrown over a sturdy branch of a nearby oak. A small yellow pool forms at his- Oh, he peed himself. That's unfortunate. See you later, guy. You bring us wonderful- Oh, we only can do four? We still have three prisoners. We'll have to save that. Let the celebration begin. Yes. Let it. Alright. You are conversing with another guest when loud screams of passion interrupt. In one corner of the room, in full view of everyone else, Egil is engaged in carnal pleasures 
with one of the serving girls. Both are completely naked, and only when they notice the stunned silence in the room do they seem to remember where they are. Oh, that's gross. By Odin. One of my vassals. I don't like him for about a year now because of that. Morsel of food or clean, uh, morsels of food and clean-picked bones fly everywhere from the direction of Eagle. Oh my god, Eagle! He stuffs him face and he basically eats until he pukes all over somebody's lap. Dear god, dude, I don't like you very much. We're gonna merge. It looks like we're gonna have an autosave happen. And... The feast is over, and with the blot with it, you will be it will be at least nine years you can hold in the next one. That's fine. Merge, we're raiders, we're embarking. Now, the question is where are we embarking to? Catholic, Catholic, Catholic. Uh let's take a look. So we could go over here. Um, we can take a look at rich areas. Green is good. So we're gonna swing our men over here and we're gonna raid over here. Sounds like a plan to me. You want to take a look, and something I should have been doing is checking a look at the economy tab, because I can see what nations are rich and which ones are poor. So when going to raid uh, a Catholic nation, I could raid the richer ones as opposed to the poorer ones. Alright, we're going to march on Canacht, and we're going to start just raiding away while they war themselves. The defenders of Roscommon sallied forth, but wow, they, they really jumped to the defense really quick. But we uh, it seems we did, a, we did a number on them before they were able to do a number on us. This lady, Hafrid, died comatose in bed. She was incapable in her... Oh, that's... Eagle was the wife. How unfortunate. Uh, Eagle... She was Eagle's wife, rather. That's an unfortunate situation. I would have probably ended up killing myself as well if I was married to that gluttonous, lustful man. Uh, let's see. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Rikessa, is pregnant. How? All right, far away. How is she pregnant? Is she lustful? She's content. That's not my child, I don't think. I'm not there. Aren't I off raiding right now? Is she cheating on me? Well, my 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 character's too stupid to realize it, so that's fine. Princess Ass of Norway is of legal age. She became a naive appeaser. That's my sister. That's good to know. Uh, is there a way to look at the armies here? New unit, I can do that. They sallied forth, but nothing happened. I just want to merge them again. Isn't there a way to look at details of an army here? I feel like there is. I'm just not. I just don't know how to do it. We've taken a lot of gold so far. 24 gold, not bad. They can't really do anything about it. They're kind of at war, which is why I struck them as hard as I did. Treachery, ever the bane of the defending garrison. The word of someone out. Good. We have somebody else in there working for us and don't worry I'm not going to be dismissing my troops in enemy territory any longer I don't know why I was doing it before that was my mistake I shouldn't have been doing that uh, basically when I dismiss them in an enemy territory in case you don't know I get I lose a good chunk of them they kinda stay where they are I guess and settle down in wherever country I left them and they just don't come home so I lose a lot of troops have to wait I drag who's this her husband is dead, who was 43, so she was, like, super old when she got married. She's a trusting, chaste, brave, de uh, de deceitful, rather, ambitious, and she's a mystic. Oh, uh, off to the dungeon she goes. We got, I mean, we got a little something, I guess. Ain't that cute. Now, am I still raiding? Yes, I am. They can't really do anything. Now, if we want to, we can march over to Thoman, probably. They're super poor now, though. We've pretty much hit them really effing hard. We'll wait. We'll try to take everything we can out of them before we end up heading back. Before we start trying to take what we can. Now, this is our area, isn't it? Autisland. My prisoner is complaining. Oh, go shut up. I got you from a raid. You're lucky you're still alive. So, Autisland is, should be part Frody, chief of Autisland. Who is this guy? It's, it's the color of Norway. Offer vacillation. Just, I'll take it, thanks. I'm going to offer him vacillation, and I guess I'm going to get it. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it up here. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, they took a, We took a blow. Not a big deal. Who is this guy? Didn't he come from my country? What, did he just go and declare war? Uh, I accept the swear fealty to you, swear of your vassal lord. Um, I got a son, Ricklefur. A lot of that name is just everywhere. It's found in the prince... R what? What? Wait, what? Why are you doing that? I just offered you vacillation, and that's what you're going to do? 
Vassal Inheritus warning. I guess this is what's going to end up happening. Really? This is what you're going to do to me when I when I offer you my protection as my, your king? Who's this? Gray Eminence. Eh, she's mediocre. Off to the dungeons with her. Hold on. Hold on. Alright, just hold on. We're going to get rid of all this. Now, really, I offer you my protection for your loyalty. And your your answer is, I want your brother in, your, in the throne before uh, other than you. Are you kidding me right now? Like, that is what you're going to do to me? Do we have a better marshal? We do. I'm going to take this guy. He's a genius, whoever this guy is. I'm taking him. He's also possessed. Well, um, you know what? You know what, Ivor, head to Hydemark? Welcome back. You're my marshal. You're possessed, sure. Sure. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't look, you know, wouldn't be too happy about that. But overall, uh, not too bad. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my, my man over. Oh, wait, he's, what is he doing? He's improving diplomatic relations. Uh, I'm going to have him, oh, no, I want my spy master to be scheming over here in Ostaland to try and shut him up. Am I, I he's not fabricating claims because I'm an idiot. So I need to have him fabricating claims because I have him on the wrong thing. Oh, well. Such is life. Now we're going to continue to, apparently, loot away uh, Canuck. It's We still have things to take from them other than the two prisoners that we've already taken. Now, does this man up here have my prisoner? He's complaining. Let him rot. Not worried about it. He doesn't have a liege. I could... Okay, yeah, I get it. Vassal Inheritance Warning. Big problem. I get it. I can't do anything about it. Do you have a genius anywhere? No. Nope. How about you? Tank Concubine. Do you have a genius in here? Nope, you don't. But for you, pal, only because you're being a pain in my ass, I'm sending my spy master to take care of you. You're 18. You're young and stupid is what you are. You're causing me way too much problems. Prince Suni, my brother, has founded Prince Suni for Norway. Really, dude? Because I fired you from the council. You would like me for a hundred. <sighs> Come on. Here, send a gift. Like me. Just stop. Just stop. Take the money and, and leave me alone. You're not going to take my spot. There's never been a shortage of soldiers. Good job, my friend. My spy master is what? He's a... Oh, God. I actually have a better spy master in my brother. So I'm going to take him. Um, maybe he'll be happy with it that way. Good job. Let's, uh, I name you a pretender. Prince Sunni Norway, the true ruler, has recognized myself and other nobles, relinquished the title, and there, there, or there will be war. <sighs> Alright, looks like we're playing this game, guys. We're going to have to uh, turn off raiding and embark. Wait, what? I mean, there's no navies present that are large enough. I will not be blackmailed. I was declared war. Alright, my brother is trying to take the throne. We are going to not embark because we lost a ton of ships, apparently. Um, where did he... So here's the problem. We're way the hell out here. Like, really far off from where I want to be and I can't embark for some reason so we're gonna have to take a new unit off 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 we'll do that that's fine uh, let's do it we can't embark no what are you talking about what are these guys can't I take one of them I can't do anything with them why I don't understand. I'm gonna have to just disband them. I can't. Uh, oh, why can't I take them? Can't I do anything to bring them back? Uh, who's got more boats? Who did I just take boats from? I just raised some boats. Yes, two more boats. Bring it over here. 
I know I just raised a bit more than that. Didn't I? I'm gonna have to hire mercenaries for now to deal with this guy uh, until I can get my men home. I got, what, this guy is 900, 500, 1400 men. I'll hire him. I don't know what to do with him, but we're gonna have to We'll wait. Uh, Robert is flocking to the banner of the Faithless Trader. Carrying to the Vultures. Great, great. We have traders everywhere right now. And I have no idea why I can't get my men on board. At all. I still can't do it. I can't... I don't understand. What is happening? New unit. Bam, bam, bam. Select the unit. Embark. Embark. No? How about if I do this? Let's march you guys. Actually, let's march you over here. Let's just get you off to a different area while we wait for, to handle this. I'm going to have to hire a bunch more mercenaries after this. Where are they going? They're going all the way up there, aren't they? If I can... Well, I'm going to march these guys over here and take Vestfold back. That's fine. What I'm gonna have to do for now. Can I now embark? Merge, embark. No? How about now? No? No? I don't under. We're gonna lower time here. <sighs> why, oh why, oh why can I not. Can I not do this? Fleet levies. I have to disband them all. I have to give up everything that I have. And just disband everything. I'll bring this back home. I'll bring home the, the wealth. But outside of that, I have to bring home my men. And uh, bring them all together. I just have to. It's obnoxious. But I've got to do it. So that's fine. We'll do that. And then we'll start marching across the goddamn ocean. And taking, uh, taking them all out one by one. That's fine. All right, we took all money and prestige. Can we lower our uh, fleet levies now? We can. Uh, it looks like died from period of illness, died natural death. We lost our steward. Not a huge deal. We'll have him collecting tithings here. All right. Everybody march over. We're going to take this place one by one. It's the only way to do it, apparently. How much money do I have? I have a lot of money. I'm losing four gold a month. Uh, you know what? Not right now. Uh, I'll promise. Uh, I'll give you an empty promise that I'll take care of it. But for now, I'm dealing with a war, my good friend. I'm not really worried about it. Not yet, anyway. All right. Uh, we could potentially make. Uh, I have discovered a plot where Hive Chief says Trongolog seeks to kill King Osbjorn of Norway. Can you please end the plot? Thank you. Come on, armies. Let's go. Alright, thank you. Let's go, let's go. There we go. Merge them. There we go. Alright, we're just going to siege up here and just start marching away. My cousin has decided to rise against me. She's going to end up paying dearly for that. Hopefully we'll drag her off to the dungeons. That's the goal anyway. Ugh, I can't believe this war just decided to happen right now. I'm going to lose this up here, but I'll get it back. I don't know where his armies have disappeared to. Oh, there they are. They're all over there. I'm going to march over there and, and basically kick his ass if I can. The attack weakens. Not a big deal. Uh, the defender sallied forth. We're going to crack down the speed here momentarily. We're about to march up against him and trash his army, hopefully. Uh, the deplorable king, Abjorn, your low character subject to Greek plays. This is a formal declaration of war. Wow, what is happening right now? Okay, sure. Declare war. We're going to be wrangling all of you fuckers in soon enough. So we're going to crush that army right there. 
I don't know where you're going, but I'm going to follow you. And we'll have to march back home soon enough. I am going to crush this army first. Absolutely crush it. And we'll march over here. Yeah, we took a defeat over in that sieged area. That's fine. We're just going to be marching our, our armies around the country, essentially. I'm not terribly worried about it. There's another army we're going to catch off guard, I think. Yes, we're going to crush it. Thank you. I don't know where you're going, um, but I'm marching back home. Good. I'm banging my wife in the middle of a war. Glad to hear it. Got to keep my body in tip-top shape. Uh, good. I guess she's raiding. Good. Glad you have time to, to raid while I am destroying you. Ugh, this is so annoying. My brother, Tolier, is a tender and loving soul. Yes, I want him to be kind. We're going to crush another army. Clearly upset. My uncle wants to get married. Here, marry my courtier. She looks like a wonderful woman. She's arbitrary. I'm sure you'll love her a very long time. This is what happens when you try to get married. Try to marry me during a war. I am going to be incredibly just kind of blah, whatever. Norway was maimed. I'm maimed? That means I'm going to die eventually. Great. That's fine. Still crushing armies left and right. And I had a son. And I had another defeat somewhere. I don't know where. Um, but we're going to march over here. And I'm going to take a look at my boy. I have two sons. He's not a genius. But he is. This one, this my young boy needs to end up dying. Unfortunately. <laughs> I want my genius son to take over. Alright, another one bites the dust, essentially. You, sir, my brother, enforce my demands. No, of course not. So we're just going to crush my cousin again, I guess. And now I can shut you up. Offer peace and force my demands. Thank you. I crushed you. Now, who else declared war on me? This man over here. And this is my brother. Came a naive appeaser. His diplomacy is ridiculous. He literally has, I'm pretty sure, just all diplomacy skills. Does he love me? He adores me. Welcome, my new chancellor. Boom. You, sir. You, sir, are gonna go. You're gonna be here for a long time. I hope. Alright. So I put a bunch of people in prison. Um, with that being said, wait, who's this guy? Well done, brigands. Who's this guy? Of Orkno? I'm going to crush your army too, apparently. Uh, my leaders has arrived. There's never been a shortage of troops. I could just raise more armies, I'm pretty sure. Apparently I raised them right in the face of the enemy. That's fine. We're going to crush his army. And then we'll disperse of the, uh... No, no, no. We want to go this way. I don't know why you lost that battle somehow, but you did. Well, we're going to march over here, apparently, and just crush you. That's fine. I have no issues doing that. Hopefully the reinforcements will arrive soon. There they are. Victory. We're going to merge you up. Start marching around the country and squashing your little rebellion anywhere I can. I can't believe you maimed me. That's that's the sucky part, because I'm eventually going to die because of that. Alright. Come here. My uncle had a boy. I don't give a damn. I gotta pop open the characters of interest and see how old that girl is, too, at some point. He can't do anything. He can't do anything. Let's uh, pop open our armies tab. I mean, what does he have for armies right now? Nothing over there. So I can pop open the armies tab. I can dismiss our mercenaries. Thank you, men. You were great. Um, I'm going to raise some boats and get you all over here. And we're going to start moving over to finish up what has already already started. Yeah, that's fine. There's I had small little skirmishes going around, of course, but... Nothing terrible. We're going to embark. And we're going to head over here. And we're going to finish this and take back what's ours. All this means is food food for the next blot. Over here. We should be able to siege it no problem. 
because we have more men than he does. Uh, my prisoner, Kraka. I'm sorry, my cousin. You're going to have to rot. This happens when you rise against me. It's that simple. You get replaced and you get imprisoned. And we're just going to end up crushing this last one bit right here. Ugh, what a pain in the ass that was. My brother decides to rise against me. God damn it, you know, like, I liked him a lot, too. Obliged. I believe that one of your vassals can be discarded from associating with conspirable factions. Uh, if the proper leverage is obtained. I can threaten him. Uh, or... Uh, he's craven, so he's a coward. I'm assuming he'll just accept it. Or oblige him. Use legalism to gain leverage. Let's use legalism. We're that kind of ruler, as it were. Is this my, are these my men over here? It is. Yep, good. These are my men. I didn't realize I had men over here, so we'll crush them real quick. While we siege up over here, pretty simply. We're almost done with this little rebellion that we have on our hands. I'm happy about that. You know what? Just embark. You know what? Let's just do this. Your wisdom and legendary mercenary. I have discovered a plot where High Chief is Edla. Fabricate a claim. Stop. Stop it. Stop. I don't have time for your crap. Yeah, uh-huh. You're done. Alright, we're gonna use it for now. We're gonna we're gonna put the money on it so we can declare this area as ours. Alright. Wait, so we took it. Okay, claim on the Jarldom. Who is this? My marshal? Stop. End it. I like you as my marshal. I like you a lot. Now, why? Where is this enemy's army? Oh, my God. There's apparently a large one. We're going to bring them back. Bring him. Uh... Merge, merge. Where's my troops? Where are my troops? Where are they? Where are my men? I put them on the boat. Where'd they go? Alright. We're gonna slow down. We're speeding up a little fast right now. Where are my friggin' men? Why did they disappear when they went on that boat? Are they over here, maybe? Embark. Bring them over here. Let's see if I can find the men. Who? Who has my men? Merge. I mean, I will hire mercenaries if I have to. I'd rather not. Fuck. 87 men, no thanks. 105 gold. Crank up the speed a little bit. Alright, so basically what ends up happening, it looks like, is my men have disappeared, is what it looks like. Oh, they're way the fuck over here. What? How? How is that even possible? How are they so far away? Truces are expiring. With Queen Ingrid, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm marching, I'm marching, I'm marching. Uh, my, my seer died a natural death. Looks like you're going to be our new seer. We have another one we could use over here. Courtier. It's fine. Got to keep you keep on trucking over there. Hopefully it works eventually. Un unpause as I men chase down the enemy. Faith Fast X Daddy, where do children come from? Daddy will tell you when you get older. Uh you get the chance to become cynical. You know there are birds and the bees. He can get Craven, which is weird. We get so scared of what sex is like. Be silent or I'll slap you. He's gained the Craven trait. 
Is this my genius fun? It is. Good. Good. <sighs> okay. Pause. My boy needs to be educated. You're gonna educate him with me. Obviously. Uh, every time my son Ricklefur meets a stranger, uh, he looks like he might faint. Shyness Terror will talk with him. Alright. Where'd they go? I don't know where they went. Literally ran away. His army is gone. I don't know where his army is gone. Where are they? Are they coming back? It's, I'm just going to push over here and start taking over this land then because I think that's the next one. That's fine. Crank it up, baby. Crank it up. Times five just to get up, get up and over that hump. And we'll start sieging the shit out of it. A new discovery. A new land has been sighted across the sea, the west of Iceland. While sailing to wreck from Norway, Ulfsen's crew were blown off course and came upon several scaries lying off a much larger island. They did not go ashore. The land seemed to be unclaimed and unsettled. Sailors in Iceland have vowed to investigate this discovery further. Okay. Okay, well, it looks like he's going to surrender. I accept. And we're done. We're done with war! Yes! I'm going to put you back there and dismiss you over there. I am just going to dismiss all my men as soon as they march. Like I said, as soon as he reaches over. Back over. We can get out of war. Thank God. We could probably dismiss you men now. Ugh. Thank God. Dismiss you as well. Crank it down. Uh, hard work and everyone seems to like him. I've decided between having my martial height and the morale of the troops or recruit more soldiers. Troops morale. Levy size. Let's do more men. Done. Done, done, done. What I wanted to do, unfortunately, didn't happen because of a succession crisis, but so be it. It was a fun episode as it was. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ugh, and we'll attempt to take over our areas next time. I'll see you then.